Latvia needs to be representative of the communities, and that is not the case today. It's very rare when you see someone of color in front of the camera or writing a, a certain column. We have black people who are, who are just thought of as heathens. Every time you look on the news, it's somebody who's being shot or killed or they stole something. And there are many other things that are going on with black people. Turn on the TV set or look at the, the bylines of the people writing the stories in their newspaper, and you'll see that there needs to be more people of uh, color, different ethnic groups in the paper and on TV. Uh, I, I just really can't say enough about the perspective that sometimes gets lost in the shuffle, and that's why the Journalism Institute for Minorities is so important, because it helps people traditionally underrepresented in the media get into the media. And that's not necessarily getting a Hispanic to comment on a Hispanic issue, but maybe a Hispanic doctor to just talk about heart disease, to show that they're not all working at Burger King or McDonald's, although there's nothing to matter with that, but they're doctors, lawyers, reporters, filmmakers, etc. Jim, the Journalism Institute for Minorities, a program created to cause media to reflect the community it's supposed to serve an accelerated academic and professional program designed to develop exceptional journalists, journalists who are Arab, African, Asian, Latin American, and so on. The Institute is an honors program for minorities interested in pursuing journalism careers. Uh, we provide full tuition scholarships for our students who want to go into journalism and want to begin communicating better images, fuller images of their own community to America and through our media ultimately to the world. And we encourage our students, actually we demand that our students do internships every year they're in school so they get the training to become professional journalists. Jim, a tool used by minority students who want to change the image media has about their culture. A tool they use to tweak themselves to serve not only their particular ethnic group but the entire community. The Institute offers several things to its students. One a greater understanding of other cultures. Uh, in my experiences there, I got a chance to meet a lot of folks that ordinarily I wouldn't meet. Uh, folks who are Indian American, folks who are Asian American and Hispanic American. And some other things that the Institute offers is quite frankly the opportunity to see how journalism and public relations work. It gives you the opportunity to see before you get out in the workforce what it means to be a journalist. I think the Institute is a place that you can go to really get to know what you need to know to make it in the business. Not only will you get to know what you need to know, you'll get to know who you need to know to make it in the business. And that's why the Institute is one of a kind. The Journalism Institute was actually my springboard. Uh, it, I don't even know, I don't know how to describe it, except to say that uh, Ruth Seymour, uh, she was a catalyst for me. The Journalism Institute for Minorities have been extremely helpful in uh, giving me an avenue, somewhere to go. It's like, it's like your support, it's like your backbone. I wouldn't be in school if it wasn't for the Institute. And I, I think I still have a lot to learn, a whole lot to learn, but what little I do know now would not have been possible without the Institute. We had a job fair in November and uh, we had about 170 students there. Uh, several of them were Institute students and we had about 40 newspaper recruiters here. And the recruiters came to Detroit from the Los Angeles Times, uh, the Washington Post, the New York Times, the Portland Oregonian, the Dallas Morning News, Newsday, some of the biggest papers in the country and they were all but fighting with each other over some of the students at the Institute. This is not a remedial program, this is an accelerated program. Jim, only successful if bright minds dedicate themselves. Only successful if there are eager students like Chris, Vidya, Santiago, Georgette, and Corey who are willing to take advantage of the opportunity Jim offers. Well, the Journalism Institute for Minorities offers a four-year scholarship. It offers professional guidance, it makes sure you get enough professional achievements so that you'll be marketable when you come out of the program. And it also offers a, an environment for success. I'm executive news producer, which means that 
I actually am able to create the product to decide what is covered and what is done, you know, and uh, also what interns are hired or who, you know, gets the chance to uh, come through our doors. And that's important because once you take that step for yourself, you can take it for others. I would tell high school students that if they're very interested in writing, and not just writing for their newspaper, but just writing in general, maybe they're proficient in doing term papers or poetry, and if they have that type of talent to apply to the JIM, because you can open up a whole new world for yourself in college and afterward. As long as you know how to write and you feel comfortable with words, uh, the Journalism Institute for Minorities is an excellent place to begin your college career. I would say to a young person who is thinking about a career in media or journalism and considering entering the GEM program, to first of all understand what it is you want to do. Do you really want to do this? Because it's a profession that unless you love it, and unless you're willing to make the sacrifices to be good in it, you're not going to be able to stay with it. It's too hard. It's too demanding. And uh, I've seen people fall by the wayside. But once you've made that decision that that's what you want to do, then I don't know of a program anywhere that is a better place to start. Jim helps youth understand where you fit in the media. It exposes students to the many careers in this field. One of the first African-American female anchors in Detroit tells us about these many options. There are so many different areas in television that one might be interested in. It's very important to be diverse because there are so many areas and not everybody is going to be in front of the camera. You can be talent. You can also be a producer or a director or an editor or a technician or a writer or an engineer. You can be in sales. You can be in promotion. You can be in programming. There are so many areas that are good jobs, responsible jobs, high paying jobs that we tend to not look at them simply because we don't understand them and we don't know that they are there. Jim, eagerly awaiting to assist more students to enter into media, searching for the best students from various ethnic backgrounds, regardless of age or sex, to assist them in their efforts to become media professionals. We select students for the Institute by several processes. We look at the application they send in to us, which includes a 1,000 word essay on why they want to be a journalist and why they want to be a part of the Institute. We also uh, look at their grades and uh, any work they may have done to show that they're really interested and eager to be a part of the business. Then we have them come in for interviews where we talk to them a little more about what they want to do and why they think this is the place for them. And from that, we decide which students would fit in the Institute. The Institute is looking kind of like the Marines for a few good students. We're looking for people who can have strong impact on the field when they graduate. So we're looking for maybe the top 1% of minority students around the country. Typically, we take students into the Institute who are high school seniors going into college. Um, we take some people who are in other careers and have decided they want to pursue a degree in journalism, so they come back for four years of study. Uh, we also look at students who may be sophomores in college. We try not to go too far beyond that um, because when a student comes into the institute, we want that student to work at internships, to work at their, on their grades and different things. And we need a person to commit to at least three years in this program so that when they leave, they have the training that says, I went to the Institute and I'm a professional journalist. Jim is made possible not only from the hardworking students who become a part of this program, but also with the generous contributions of community support from foundations such as Kellogg and corporations such as the Detroit Free Press and the Detroit News, who have given not only hundreds of thousands of dollars, but experience in their newsrooms as interns. Most important thing for a possible contributor is to recognize that this is a proven program of developing minority journalists who are uh, prepared to go into jobs in almost any uh, kind of media company. And if you're looking for an opportunity to support a program that has a great track record and has graduates who are contributing in significant ways throughout the country, uh, this is a very good place to invest your money. If I had the opportunity 
to address a CEO or a business owner about giving money to the Institute, I would say uh, give and give big. Uh, this is only something that's going to come back and help you in the future. Uh, as these people get out into the, into the mainstream media or maybe into alternative publications or broadcasts, you'll see that the money was well spent. We get out of this world what we put into it. And if students are ready to put in their time and their energy and their passion, they're going to reap the benefits. And I would tell uh, sponsors or potential sponsors that we too will get out of it what we put into it. And this is not a thing that is going to uh, work like the lottery. This is not a thing that is going to happen overnight or in a week or in a month or in a year. We're talking about building something that will continue to grow as the years go by. And it really is a long-term investment, whether we're talking about one person's career or affecting some kind of change in the news business. So I would say uh, invest, invest yourself, invest your money, put it in the institute, you'll get big returns. Yeah, it's just a financially sound investment to invest in Jim. You get a better newspaper, you get better radio stations, you get better television stations. I could go on and on and on, but really investing in Jim is a win-win situation. The students benefit, their classmates benefit, the professors benefit, the entire community benefits. The Journalism Institute for Minorities has helped me a lot. Uh, I wouldn't be where I am today without it. I wish that there had been a gym when I was attending Wayne State University. I was very fortunate. I was able to have some friendships and forging relationships that allowed me to achieve some things in journalism and in broadcasting. But there was nothing like Jim. Had I had an opportunity to do that, to go through a program like that, uh, I think without a question, I would have been better prepared when I entered the, the world of work I would have been better focused. A lot of the hard lessons I had to learn later, uh, I would have learned in, in the university. So you asked me the most important thing it does. There are so many important things, but I would say, if I had to put a word on it, I'd just say opportunity. Students uh, should apply to Jim because uh, the various uh, jobs in the media uh, that Jim offers uh, the practical experience, offers the contacts, offers the, uh, the, the base that you need uh, as far as knowledge of the world, of the media itself. The ideal candidate for the Journalism Institute is someone who gets excited by ideas and excited in communicating ideas. Some, some students like to do it through video and some imagine doing it through writing. It's someone who um, cares about the world around them, is aware of news events, and believes that they have something to share. Having diversity in our workplace brings us and our readers stories we otherwise wouldn't know about. It would be foolish for us to pretend to cover a world that is more and more diverse each year with a group of people who share only one or two perspectives. Uh, it is not only uh, important, it is going to be more and more important. And if people are looking for concrete evidence about its importance, they need only look at uh, what's happening with uh, readership and viewership, and they will notice that somehow we're missing some people. When we have a more diverse, more reflective pool of journalists, of broadcasters, of people in media, that benefits everyone. It gives us a much more realistic picture of what's going on in our world. It's not that diversity is important, it's not that diversity is good, it's that diversity is reality. Diversity is fact. America is no longer a white country with a few minorities in it.